Good day and welcome to this technical presentation of Trimeter's latest innovative product, the Advanced Panel Meter, the APM for short. My name is Alf Jones and I am the Sales and Marketing Director of Trimeter and I shall shortly be handing you over to Nick Hughes, Product Manager for Control and Measurement Products. Before I do so, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Trumeter and the APM. Trumeter started in 1937 when we developed the world's first mechanical product for measuring textile length. From there, the company developed a range of measuring products for a wide and varied number of applications. Today, Trumeter is a global company with a presence in all the world's major markets, with offices in Bury, England, Florida, USA and Penang, Malaysia, where we manufacture all of our products. Our products are used in a variety of industries, ranging from LED lighting to automotive to process instrumentation. Please take the time to look at our website www.trimeter.com for more details. The APM is the result of a considerable amount of market research identifying the need for a panel meter with multiple uses, which is easy to read and easy to use, and with a number of unique features not available at this price point. In short, the best value for money panel meter on the market today. I'm now going to hand you over to Nick, who will take you through the main part of this presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Alf, and welcome to everybody on this call. As Alf outlined, I'm the product manager, and my aim is to explain the APM in detail today so that you have a good understanding of how the product works, where it is used, and why it is proving to be so successful with customers worldwide. So what is the APM? The APM is an exciting new range of panel meters, including a voltmeter, amp meter, frequency meter, and process meter. They're designed and built on a common platform, offering a number of unique user configurable features which are all available using our free, easy to use software that I will demonstrate later. So where is the APM used? The APM has a number of applications including control panels, frequency metering, power generation monitoring and power quality monitoring. Furthermore, as we speak, we have a number of other APM products in the pipeline such as a shunt meter, the process meter plus with RTD input, a CT meter, a rate meter and a power meter. The APM is a 72 by 72 millimeter panel meter with a depth of only 53 millimeters making it ideal where panel builders have limited depth to work with. It features a number of user configurable display areas designed to provide an immediate visual indication of critical parameters. Positive LCD display provides high contrast black digits on a bright color background. The negative LCD display provides bright color digits on a black background. All connections are via screw terminals located on the rear of the meter with power supply and output options on one connector and measuring inputs on the other. A USB socket for custom user configuration is provided, while standard configuration could be made using the dip switches. As mentioned earlier, the APM has a number of exciting features that set it apart from its competitors. Digital panel meters are replacing analog meters in many applications due to their increased speed, flexibility and accuracy. These modern meters enable engineers to take an accurate reading down to decimal places at a glance if necessary, which is just not possible with older analog meters, especially from a distance. However, if a digital meter has one drawback, it is that knowing the exact reading will not tell you how close the reading is to any set limits. The APM fills this gap as it is designed to give the best of both worlds, combining the speed, accuracy and flexibility of a digital meter with the instant visual representation of an analog meter. 
The display also features a programmable scale, enabling the user to set any scale required, thereby ensuring the bar graph is consistently easy to read and centre of scale. The scale feature includes auto-ranging or fixed, peak and hold, as well as scale and offset functions. Setting the display range is easy using the software. Auto-ranging or fixed is easily selected, and you simply enter the minimum and maximum values that you want on the bar graph. Notice when you hover the cursor over one of the boxes, it'll actually show you what the increments will be around the scale. Write the configuration to the APM and it changes. Here we've changed it to 600, I'll now change it back to 24. To use the peak bar function, simply check these boxes here. The peak hold option means that the segment will actually stay indefinitely. A reset input is provided on the back of the APM to reset the peak hold. The scale and offset functions are also very easy using the software. A default scale factor of 1 is applied and simply selecting the user option allows you to enter another scale factor. Here we will apply a scale factor of 2 and notice how the input value is now multiplied by 2. Again entering an offset will take your input value and apply the offset to that on the display. The number of decimal places that the APM displays on the digital readout can easily be adjusted using the software here. Simply select how many decimal places that you would like to see. To change the default message in the starburst area is very easy. Simply select here, type in what you want and then write to the APM. Here we change to VDC. And here we change to Volt Line 1. One of the main features of the APM is the unique LED backlighting feature, which can be set to change colour, brightness and to flash, acting as a visual alarm. The colours available are white, red and green. To change the default colour of the APM is simple. Simply select the backlight tab and then select the colour that you wish. Options for brightness are on the sliders below and you can actually adjust the brightness for the two set points. All products feature two set point alarms, again easily configured by the software. The set point alarms can be used with the dynamic backlighting and starburst display area, meaning no longer is this just a simple meter, rather it reacts to what is being measured giving a visual warning if a parameter is out of range. Users can now be alerted to potential problems, avoiding damage to equipment, downtime and associated costs. APM models that come with the output feature contain two independent outputs which can be configured as either digital or analog, or common to both types. These have been designed for integration with PLCs and other industrial controls. They can be used to trigger an external audible alarm stop a process or retransmit to another device. On the True APM website, we've provided a product selector that enables the user to choose the right product for their application. The product selector shows the main technical aspects for each type of meter. Thank you for your attention today, and I trust you have enjoyed and found this presentation interesting. Please take the time to visit the True APM website at trueapm.com where you will see a considerable amount of technical support documents. Please feel free to send me an email at any time as we welcome comments from our customers. Thank you.